You know you have a problem when you're holding the bag by the bottom instead of the handles because you're so scared that it's gonna break. Like, I'm actually terrified. This is not gonna hold if I hold it by the handle. Hey guys, it's Celine. So today I'm here to film a Bath and Body Works haul and before I even get into the haul, someone please remind me never to go back into Bath and Body Works around Christmas time unless you want me to spend all of my life savings in one store. The last time I went to Bath and Body Works and actually bought something was probably four or five years ago. Like this bag is just so heavy. It's probably maybe 15 pounds, maybe 20 pounds. Uh, it's, it's really bad. Got this one in amber blush and it has shea and vitamin E in it, so that's cool. Um, I'm really bad at describing scents, so we'll see how this haul goes. I just thought, hey, you guys might be interested in seeing it because I've been seeing a lot of these Bath and Body Works hauls lately, and I'm like, okay, if people are uploading it, I'm guessing that people want to see it. So it says that it is an ultra feminine scent and it has raspberry champagne. Gardenia petals and magnolia blossom with a seductive kiss of crystallized amber and creamy vanilla sauce. I don't know why they're sexualizing shower gels, but hey, um, it has a very sweet feminine smell. Like it's kind of like the Victoria's Secret body splashes if you've ever smelled those. It's pretty similar to that. So I got that, and I got this one called Twilight Woods. Um, looks like this. It's a pretty purple color, and it says, This hypnotic scent is an intoxicating blend of lush berry, sparkling mandarin, soft mendoza, with a lasting impression of apricot nectar and cypress wood. Ooh, I don't know why they're trying to make such a really descriptive... Just, like, just tell me what it smells like, if it smells good or not. That's all I want to know. And right now there's a sale going on where it's if you buy two, you get one free, and if you buy three, you get two free. But I bought two, so I got one free. Wow, okay, and the last one that I got that technically was for free, I don't know, one of them is for free, and it's um, French lavender and honey, and that's basically what it smells like. I'm not even gonna get into the back because who knows what kind of sexual terms they're using on that. But it is, it's very sweet. It's, it kind of is a little bit musky of a smell, but it's, it does have honey lavender in it, so that's pretty much what it smells like. And a single shower gel is about $12.50 each. However, I think it was reduced down to $10 in addition to that, so. They're selling a lot of candles that are in the shape of a mason jar, so I don't know how I feel about that, but they were having sales on them, so if you bought two mason jars, it's for $20, when originally it's like $12.50 each, I'm pretty sure. The first one I'm gonna show you guys is this one called Alpine or Alpine Frost, and it resembles that of a men's fragrance, so kind of like men's cologne, except a lighter version of it mixed with pine cones and Christmas trees, so that's how I would describe this one. This other one, which looks different, it's not a mason jar, but it works with the mason jar sale, like I asked the sales lady, and it says, tis this season, and the packaging is really cool too, it has this like silver sparkly circles, square things, and it is called tis the season, and it kind of smells like those antique Christmas shops, like if you've ever been to um, a Christmas shopping center where everything is just smells really musky and like Christmas and like gingerbread except has the smell of like old kind of that's what it smells like pretty much and yeah that's pretty much what it this literally smells like Christmas like I this is what I think Christmas smells like next I got this one called vanilla snowflake and this is what it looks like it's just this vanilla color and when you open it it smells like um, they had this one called it was something about cookies or cake or something like that, but it does smell like cookies, cake, and vanilla, so that's pretty much what it smells like. Then I got this other one. This is probably my favorite candle that I bought out of everything here, and it's called Marshmallow Fireside, and it looks like this. And when I smelled it at first, I was thinking, oh, it's probably just gonna smell like marshmallows, but it really, it doesn't really smell like that. Okay, I mean, I guess it does smell a little bit of marshmallows, but it's a very light and airy scent, so it's kind of... <laughs> It smells kind of like mint leaves a little bit, but it also has a little bit of men's cologne, but it also is very light. Next, I got the one called Winter. Typical. Um, so this is what it looks like, and it smells like Winter. It's pretty... This is a little bit more musky. I can't even describe this. I'm so sorry. I just really can't describe it, but... Um, it says on the bottom, a fragrance that captures the essence of being in the mountains with bracing notes of pine needles, winter citrus, and white woods. 
when I think about it, it kind of does resemble like the white woods, like the pine cones. So it's kind of like that, except a little bit artificial. Also got sparkling icicles. If you've ever had sparkling water, you know when it bubbles and you put your nose really close to it, and you can feel the bubble, it, like the bubbles just popping and sparkling and everything. I feel like I could smell that, and it also has like a men's fragrance. I don't know why. But a lot of these do have like the men's cologne, like a hint of it in it. Not too much, but it's like a little hint of it. And snow. It, it smells very clean. That's the best way I could describe it. So the mini candles, they were three for $12, and I'm pretty sure I saved about $1.50 or something. And these are so cute, they're so tiny. Um, I think these are great for if you want to put a candle someplace where you don't want to let people know that there's a candle there, or at least like show like 10 candles, but you want to have like the smell of a candle. So I think these are perfect for that. So I got the one called Harvest Gathering, and it smells like kind of like berries a little bit. Let me read the description so you guys can see exactly what it is, because again, I'm terrible at naming smells. It's a mixture of red apple, cinnamon leaf, and tart cranberry. And it does have a lot of cranberry and tarts in it, so it's very sweet. Then I got the one called Leaves. I'm pretty sure this is really popular here on YouTube and it has been for the past couple of years. And this smells like a rich blend of golden nectar, red apple, and spiced berries. Mm, I don't really smell the berries, but it is very spiced. And definitely like leaves falling down from trees, so it has definitely a lot of spice in it. Oh, and each of the mini candles on their own are $4.50. Last but not least to end this haul, the third candle is called Mahogany Teakwood, and I think I got this one for my mom actually because she really liked the smell, and I'm pretty sure this is popular too. It's a, It does, again, it's very clean, it's very light and refreshing. Let's see what the actual description of it is. Um, highlighted by a delicate lavender, yes, there's definitely lavender in there. Um, basically lavender. Hopefully this wasn't too boring of a haul. Let me know if you guys like seeing hauls because I don't really do them that often, but maybe I will, maybe I won't. Whatever you guys want. Yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe. Check out the links down below and I'll talk to you later. Bye everyone!